In this video, I'm going to be explaining what I would like you to do for the Unit 2 Speaker's Reflection document. Notice at the top of this document that there are the four categories of science, standards and skills, community, thinking as a scientist, and reflection. Each of these boxes is a checklist that you can check off as you have reviewed these materials to support you as you synthesize the concepts from our unit. Please note that in thinking as a scientist, we will not be doing the synthesis application final task, so you can simply check that and cross it off. The purpose of this reflection is two part. One is to show your ability to think as a scientist, to continue to update your thinking and apply what we have learned in this unit to your life outside of the classroom, as well as to our collisions unit. And to show that you're able to do this, you are going to complete this synthesis of concepts. So in this box here, I would like for you to add the ideas listed up at the top in the form of a concept map or a one pager. You could potentially write um, in paragraph form, but it'll be pretty difficult to show a deep level of understanding about this unit and its connections to past units in your life outside the classroom by just writing a paragraph. So you could potentially write something out and then add more paper, but I do recommend that you try your hand at a concept map or some sort of visual way to represent the connections between these different ideas. If you are not sure how to do a concept map, I have included some documents in Canvas that are resources that you can use to help explain and understand what I'm looking for. The second part of this reflection document is for you to reflect on your experience in Unit 2. So specifically, I'm asking you to look back at the standards and think about how many uh, standards you were able to reach mastery. And this is actually for the entire semester one, both collisions and speaker units. And question one and two um, both address the full semester. You can look at your proficiency tracker to do that. Then for question three, I'm asking you to think about your scores on the rubric and do you think they accurately reflect how much you know? Maybe you weren't able to communicate your thinking as well as you thought. Maybe you had hoped to complete an assignment and didn't get a chance. Or maybe when you did the assessment, you didn't know as much as you do now. Explain to me what was going on there. Next, I want you to think about how often you were actively engaged as a member of our learning community. Um, and I give you some examples about that. Please try to be specific. You could use a relative per percentage. Um, you could use words to describe whatever you can do to communicate to me approximately how often you were engaged. Then question five is responding to number four or elaborating on it. How do you think this participation affected your learning and performance in science? In other words, did your behavior of being engaged and participating in these different events and experiences, did that ultimately imp uh, impact how much you learned and how well you performed? Number six might be the most important question that I'm looking to review. And it says that if someone asked you, are you good at science? What would you expect? What would you say? And I'd like you to explain with details. I'm hoping that you can be really honest and um, share your thinking both to yourself and to me. Number seven of the four categories of science listed on the front page. So those are these standards and skills, thinking as a scientist, community and reflection. Of those four categories, which is the area of your greatest strength? Please explain which is the area that most needs improvement and then explain. And lastly, what's going on in your life right now that you would like to share? I'm really curious to know what's happening for you outside of science class. Remember that one of the categories of science is reflection. And so it's going to be very important that you look back at the um, grading criteria and look at what you would need to be including in this reflection to be considered at a level four, three, two, and one.
I'm looking forward to reading your responses.